Hi, this is PC Roger, and in this short video what I want to show you is how to turn the number lock on and keep it on all the time, especially when you first go to log into your PC. Now you might have, or probably should have, some numbers in your password, and it's easier to use the, the number pad if you're on a regular uh, desktop with a standard computer, and you want that number lock on usually. And with Windows, and especially with Windows 8, which we're using here, nothing's really a guarantee, but here's a good way to set that number lock on and keep it on, and something I've used for years. Now we're going to be editing the registry, so this is more, a little bit more of an advanced uh, function, I guess, although it's very simple to do, but you don't want to make any mistakes. And just to ensure that we have a backup of the registry in case we do make a mistake, we're going to do that first. Now here we are on the desktop of Windows 8, and you can get to that from the, the app screen or the metro screen or whatever that uh, nightmare is uh, referred to. Uh, I use uh, Classic Shell and try to stay away from that uh, metro screen and those tiles as much as possible. So we're going to use the Windows plus the R key to bring up the run command, because by default uh, you'll find that run command hard to find unfortunately in Windows 8, and that shortcut key should work. And we're going to type in regedit, or regedit, however you want to pronounce it, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, and click OK. And you're going to get a user account control pop-up box, and it wants to know if you want to uh, make these changes, and, and you want to click the Yes button on that user account control pop-up. Now here we have the registry editor, and it's really easy to make a backup. First you want to highlight your actual computer at the very top, so because we want to get the entire registry and if you go on file export and put the uh, registry backup file someplace where you can find it and have permissions a lot of times the desktop is as easy place as any and you can just call it uh, I can type registry backup before numlock turn on and on the export range we want all and we just click save and in just a moment that little uh, circle will go away and you can see on the desktop down here we do have a registry backup file so now we're going to go ahead and do a search and replace click on edit and find and search for just type in initial keyboard and leave these uh, boxes checked click find next and this is another reason why we want to be at the very top of the registry hives there so that we uh, get all the entire registry in the search. And you'll see here initial keyboard indicators is currently set to a 2, which is correct for it to be on. We're just going to tap the F3 key to find the next instance of that. And this is a different type of uh, data key, so just hit F3 again. We don't need to make any changes. Now here's what we're looking to change, where you see this uh, kind of funky number here. Don't know what all that means, but it's really not something we want. So if we just double click that initial keyboard indicators and with it all highlighted, just to hit the enter the number 2 and it should replace the number that was there. And you'll see it goes to a 2. And we'll hit the F3 key and that one's OK. And here's another one needs to be changed. Enter a 2 the F3 key again, another one needs to be changed. That one's OK. Another one needs to be changed. And now it's finished searching the registry, and we can just click Close. Now you can hang on to that registry backup, even if you think everything went OK. Hang, up, hang on to it for uh, some time, uh, at least uh, if everything was running properly beforehand, then you know that's something you can go back to. But since it's named the way it is, you know that if you ever do restore that registry backup file, then you are going to have to make that change to the initial keyboard indicators. And that's it for this short video. Hope that has helped. We've got a link in the description of the video to go to our website, PCRoger.com. Got a link here to subscribe to our channel. Hope you do that. Try to have a lot of helpful videos. We're going to be creating a playlist as well for Windows 8 in particular. There are going to be a lot of things that we're going to want to modify, make it easier to use and easier to get around, and, and we're how to do some things that may be a little bit different than what they used to be. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.